Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at the evolution of Team RPM Piston Cup Racers, Winford, Bradford, Rutherford, followed by Bruce Miller and Barry DePedal from Cars 3. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective for each one of them, let me discuss something. <clears throat> Throughout the years of the Piston Cup, there had been a generation of Team RPM racers that are sponsored by RPM, the Nighttime Backfire Suppressant, with the traditional team number 64. But with some changes to the sponsors' color schemes from yellow, orange, white, and blue to gold, blue, orange, and white that to and purple, black, and orange. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review and retrospective for each one of them. First, we're going to start off with Winford Bradford Rutherford, the first RPM Piston Cup racer from Cars 1. <clears throat> Winford Bradford Rutherford is a Capital Motors Verve XT Piston Cup racer who was originally sponsored by RPM with the number 64 and was nicknamed the Professor. During his appearance in Cars 1, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South and was one of the racers to get involved into the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks. And despite that he got involved into the wreck, he was able to finish the race and hasn't received any speaking lines in the film. During his diecast releases, he has been released a number of times in singles, multi-packs, launchers, and, of course, in a two-pack with Davey Apex, a.k.a. Dave Alternators. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his angry, determined facial expression, his bright yellow paint, exterior paintwork, his grill, headlight stickers with a white number 64 on one of them, and on the hood we have the RPM logo saying RPM, Nighttime Backfire Suppressant, and on both sides we've got the blue rims with the yellow trimming on the black wall light ear racing tires and the exhaust pipes the RPM logo and the gas cap and a bit of yellow, orange, white and blue on the enamel the white number 64 several contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, his own sponsor, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retraining, Clutch Shade, and on the top, we have another number 64, no name signature. And on the trunk, we, we have the blue background and the RPM logo and the ducktail spoiler. And on the back side, we have a bit of blue, white, and orange background, the RPM logo in the middle, the red taillight stickers with the white number 64 on one of them. And on the back bumper, we have 
bit of orange with white striping and the slogan nighttime backfire suppressant and on the undercarriage it says Disney slash Pixar made in China Mattel and that is it for Winford Bradford Rutherford up next is Bruce Miller from Cars 3 <clears throat> Bruce Miller is an Axello Fijon EA Piston Cup racer who bore the number 64 for the RPM team and shares a similar, the same body as Brick Yardley. During his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco Light 350 of the 2016 Piston Cup season. Throughout the rest of the season, when Next Gen Racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he was replaced by a Next Gen Racer named Barry DePedal, we'll get to, which we'll get to him next. And he hasn't been seen or has any speaking lines in the film ever since. During his diecast releases, he was released in dot-com 10 packs and hasn't been re-released re nor not even as a single ever since. However, in 2020, his artwork and name package on uh, package name was revealed. However, Mattel made a mistake as they pl placed Winford Bradford Rutherford's die cast instead of Bruce Miller or himself. But anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his smirking facial expression, his gold exterior paintwork, white number 64, his black grill, working headlights. And on the hood, we've got a, an RPM logo with the blue background. And on both sides, we have the Lightyear logo on the front fenders. And the red rims on the black wall light year racing tires. As, men, as I have mentioned in yesterday's video, I've used some a bit of wide out and a red colored sharpie to make the rims, which were black, more accurate to the film as well as the die cast, which I didn't bother to say yesterday. So anyhow, here we have the number 60, white number 64, a bit of white and blue, an orange background, and red arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift him up, and a few contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, his own sponsor, Nitroid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid, an RPM logo, and the gas cap and on the right side we have the exhaust pipes and on the top we've got another number 64 no name signature and on the trunk we've got the RPM logo with the blue background and the ducktail spoiler and on the back side we've got another RPM logo with the camera in the middle and the working red taillights and on the back bumper we have a bit of gold background and a white number 64 and the and an exhaust pipe and on the undercarriage it says Mattel made in China 
And that is it for Bruce Miller. And finally, here we have Barry DePedal from Cars 3. <clears throat> Barry DePedal is a next gen Piston Cup racer who currently bears the number 64 for the RPM team and shares a similar body to Danny Suarez. <clears throat> Barry DePedal, I mean, did that already. Anyhow, <clears throat> during his appearance in Cars 3, during the 2016 Piston Cup season, when next-gen racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit, he replaced the previous RPM racer, Bruce Miller. And he was also one of the racers to participate in the Florida 500 of the 2017 Piston Cup season at the Florida International Speedway and was able to finish the race. And he hasn't received any speaking lines in the film. And during his diecast releases, he was released a number of times in singles, in a two-pack, and in multi-packs. Anyhow, without, so without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his angry, determined facial expression. His purple exterior paintwork, no grill, just the headlights. And on the hood, we've got a bit of purple, black, and orange background in the, the an R, next gen RPM logo with the letters in purple. And on both sides, we've got the purple rims on the next gen black wall light year racing tires. The few constituency logos saying, Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. And a purple arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up. The, the exhaust pipes and the gas cap. A purple number 64. And a bit of orange and purple interior. And on the top, we have a bit of black. No name signature. And an orange number 64. And on the next-gen spoiler, we have a bit of purple, black, and orange, and an R next-gen RPM logo in white and orange. And on the back side, we've got the working red taillights, an orange number 64, and an RPM logo in white and orange, and a bit of purple and orange in in the middle and the gold rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie and on the undercarriage we have Disney slash Pixar made in Vietnam Mattel and that is it so what do you guys think which RPM Piston Cup racer is your favorite is it Winford Bradford Rutherford, Bruce Miller, or Barry DePedal. And which car do you wish for me to record tomorrow? Well, I guarantee that it all comes down to Marcus Krenzler and then the, and the following day after tomorrow, it's going to be the evolution of Team Transberry Juice Racers. And should Mattel correct their mistake by re releasing the actual Bruce Miller as a single instead of mislabeling him with Winford Bradford Rutherford's diecast? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, 
please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye now.